So today I'm headed to a place that I call Snake Island. It's uh, it's pretty hard to get to. I had to kayak in about one and a quarter miles through a flooded, shrubby river valley, uh, and then hike in another quarter mile through dense cedar swamp. Uh, for me though, it really is worth the trip. The entire swamp, for about a mile in every direction from the island, it's uh, it's a great habitat for garter snakes, frogs, salamanders, but because that entire area floods in the winter and early spring, most of those animals are going to need to find a spot where they can get below ground, uh, where they won't freeze, but where they'll also stay above water, which puts a lot of those snakes and amphibians on this remote island. Which means that in the spring, when uh, all those animals wake up, you can find them on the island in, in pretty high numbers. It's the only place in the world where I've ever seen uh, garter snake breeding balls. And uh, one of my first trips out here, I turned over a single rock and found 17 four-toed salamanders under it. I've never seen anything like that. That's why I come back here. Oh, oh wow, look at that. First snake of the day. We're not even on the island yet. Soaking wet. That's a good sign. All right, here's the island. Snake. Oh, just got three more snakes. One, one, two. I lost the third one. Ah, three. happening. Okay, so here we have a female garter snake crawling through the leaf litter with two smaller male snakes lined up along her back attempting to mate with her. When these snakes emerge from their hibernaculate in the early spring, the female sometimes heads straight out into their foraging habitat, but uh, the males stay close to the denning area so they can try to mate with each female as they emerge. As a result, it's pretty common to see multiple males courting a single female at the same time, sometimes forming a literal pile of breeding snakes. Now, in the coming days and weeks, all of these snakes will wake up, come to the surface, and once the females are gone, the males will head out into the swamp for the summer. The total number of snakes that I saw today was pretty low for Snake Island, but since these are the first snakes that I've seen all year, I'm pretty happy.